Hey everyone, Jason here. Uh, I was teaching a class over the weekend and we were doing just a basic AVID class, uh, but some of the students had questions about the new kind of AI transcription uh, that AVID can do and how to use it in conjunction with the subcap effect. Uh, and I'd never done it before, but we decided to kind of figure it out together. And once we did, I thought, you know what? They were so happy with what they saw. I thought maybe I would go ahead and share it here. Uh, so, if we uh, just take a look at what I have here, I have a very basic two-person dialogue scene that I've been using for some of my other classes. Let's watch the uh, first little bit of this here, just to get an idea of what the dialogue is. Lunch break! Just a minute. No. Now. Okay. What is this? Green tea. Okay, so this scene is entirely edited and we want to add some captions. And what we can do is we can have Avid generate the transcript from the sequence as a text file uh, with time code and the dialogue. And then we can import that back into the subcap effect. So let's talk about how to do that. Okay, so here is my sequence up here in my scene 20 sequences bin. So this is scene 20 and I want to export a transcript from this. So I'm just gonna right click on the sequence in the bin. We're gonna go down to transcript and we're gonna choose export subcap, export subcap. Uh, you're gonna to need to tell it what uh, tracks have dialogue. Uh, in this case, there's only two tracks, so they both have dialogue. Uh, so we're going to leave both of those selected. Click OK. Uh, name the file if you want to rename it. Uh, right now, it's just going to call this Scene 20 Subcap. That is fine. And I'm just going to put this on my desktop to make it easy to find. Click Save. And depending on the speed of your system and, of course, the length of your sequence, this could take a uh, few seconds here. Okay, so it is finished exporting. Let's just go take a look real quick. I'm going to hit Command-H to hide Avid. My desktop is a little messy here, but here it is right here, my scene 20 subcap text file. Uh, if we were to open it up and take a look at it, here it is. And it's just time code and the dialogue. And if we look, it did a pretty good job with the dialogue. Okay, so we're just going to leave that like it is. Let's go back to Avid. And now we need to add the subcap effect to an upper track. So we're going to add an upper track. I'm just going to right click on my timeline. New video track. Command Y is the keyboard shortcut. I now have a new video track. We'll go ahead and monitor that. We're going to go to our effect palette and we will find the subcap effect in the generator category of effects under filters. Here's our subcap effect and we're just going to drag and drop that onto the upper track. And then what we want to do before we bring our script in, we want to format what our captions are going to look like. Okay, so we're going to go into effect mode. So with my playhead over the subcap effect, I'm going to go into effect mode. And there's all different ways you can format this, but first of all, I'm going to go down here to caption te text and I'm just going to type in this is my sample te oh, not test text. There we go. And from here, you can format it, you know, put it where you want it on the screen. I'm going to leave it down here in the center, which is where I usually keep it. But let's just do a little bit of customization here so we can see how it works. I'm going to go to text appearance. Let's go ahead and change the color. We'll make it kind of yellow. And let's go down to box appearance and let's make that completely transparent. I have a little bit of a drop shadow on here. I'll leave the drop shadow on there. Let's maybe make it a little thicker. Uh, let's even give it an outline to make it stand out a little bit more. 
and we'll say, okay, there is, that's how I want my text to look. Once you have it formatted, uh, you can save it, by the way. You can save this as a template, but we're just gonna hide these controls. And right here we have caption files. I'm gonna click the little arrow next to that and we have import caption data. We want to go import that uh, file that we exported, that transcript. We're going to click on that. Down here, files of type. Make sure it is set to text file .txt. And then you've got to go find it. Okay, so you would navigate to your desktop. I'm already at my desktop, but once again, if I wasn't, you know, I might go to my computer, users, my user, desktop, find that text file. There we go. Scene 20, subcap text. When I click open, keep an eye on my video three track here. Boom. It adds the captions, but it also cuts it up into little pieces. So now each of these are their own little subcap effect. I'm just going to go to the beginning of the scene here. We're going to play it. We're going to watch it on the uh, screen here. Lunch break. Just a minute. No, now. OK. What is this? Green tea. But I wanted a Coke. Soda's bad for you. Plus, you've been looking a little puffy lately. OK, so. I am really happy with that. Now, I would go through, I would watch it, make sure that everything was the way that I wanted. Of course, double check spelling, double check to make sure that it got it right. You know, maybe some of the lines are too long, so I might have to do a little bit of adjustment on the subcap effect. But overall, that was super quick and easy if you know how. So once again, that was just something my class and I went on over, uh, went over uh, on the weekend, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So enjoy.